syllabus of the UPSC CSC before that this is you know the general outline like one language paper of 300 which is qualifying then English again qualifying then essay paper of 250 marks GS1 to 50 marks GS2 to 50 marks GS3 to 50 marks GS4 and two optional subjects and then there is you know interview of 275 which makes total 2025 marks right. about syllabus there is no mention of IAS essay paper syllabus in the UPSC notification only a broad outline is provided in the official notification but the expectation from the candidates has been mentioned in the notification they will be expected to keep close to the subject of the essay to arrange their ideas in an orderly fashion and to write consciously. Credit will be given for effective and exact expression. So there are like four papers, one, two, three, four. Paper 1 syllabus is Indian heritage, culture, history, geography of the world and the society, right? So four subjects. As far as culture is concerned, it will cover the salient aspects of art form, literature and architecture from ancient to modern times. And then modern Indian history from the middle of 18th century until the present. That means 1750 to present, uh, 1947. Significant events, personalities and issues. Then freedom struggle, its various stages and important contributors, public contributions from different parts of the country post-independence, consolidation and reorganization within the country. So 1947 to you know all the years which was spent on making India we have right now. History of the world will include the events from the 18th century such as the Industrial Revolution, World Wars, redrawal of national boundaries, colonization, decolonization, political philosophy, like communism, capitalism, socialism, etc. Their forms and effects on the society. Then society, salient features of Indian society and diversity of India. Women and women's organization. The role of women. Population and associated issues. Poverty and developmental issues. Urbanization, their problems and their remedies. Effect of global globalization on Indian society, social empowerment, communalism, regionalism and secularism. Salient features of the world's physical geography, so this is where geography starts. Distribution of key natural resources from across the world including in South Asia and Indian subcontinent. Factors responsible for the location of primary, secondary and tertiary sectors industries in various parts of the world including India. Important geophysical phenomena such as the earthquake, tsunami, volcanic activity, cyclone, etc. Geographical features and their location, changes in critical geographic features and in flora and fauna and effect of such changes. About GS paper 2 there are like five broad subjects. First is polity you know, Lakshmi Kant, then international relations, then we have governance, constitution and social justice. Indian constitution, historical underpinnings, evolution, features, amendments, significant provisions and basic structure. Functions and responsibilities of the union and the states, issues and challenges pertaining to the federal structure devolution of powers and finances up to local levels and challenges 
therein. Separation of power between the various organs, dispute redressal mechanism and institutions. Government strives to have a workforce which reflects the gender balance and women candidates are encouraged to apply. Comparison of the Indian constitutional scheme with that of the other countries, for example, United States, Kingdom, Canada. Parliament and other state legislatures, structure, functioning, the conduct of the business, powers and privileges and issue arising out of these. Structure, organization and function of executive and judiciary. So first the legislature, then executive and judiciary. Ministries and departments of government, pressure groups and formal and informal associations and their role in polity. Salient features of RPA, there are two RPAs, 1950 and 51. Appointment to various constitutional posts, power, functions and responsibilities of various constitutional, statutory, regulatory and various quasi-judicial bodies. For example, a constitutional body is uh, UPSC for which for whose exam we are preparing a statutory body is like national tiger conservation authority a non a non constitutional non statutory body an executive body is niti ayog Government policies and interventions for development in various sectors and issues arising out of their design and implementation. Development process and the development industries, the role of NGOs, SHGs, various groups and associations, donors, charities, institutional and other stakeholders. Welfare schemes for vulnerable sections of the, pop the population by center and the states and the performance of these schemes, mechanisms, laws and institutions and bodies constituted for the protection and betterment of these vulnerable sections. Issues relating to the development and management of social sector, services relating to health, education, human resources, issues relating to poverty and hunger. Important aspects of governance, transparency, transparency and accountability. E-governance applications, models, successes, limitations and potentials, citizens, charters, transparency and accountability and institutional and other measures. Then role of civil service in a democracy, very important especially for ethics and this paper also India and its neighborhood relations international relations bilateral regional and global groupings and agreements involving India for example BIMSTEC SARC Istanbul process heart of Asia important international institutions agencies and fora their structure mandate mainly most important is united nations then comes gs paper 3 so science and technology biodiversity environment security and disaster management economical economic development right so these are the main parts very dynamic Indian economy and issues relating to planning, mobilization of resources, growth, development and employment, inclusive growth and issues arising out from it, government budgeting, by the way for prelims budget is like very very important, then comes part of agriculture, major crops, cropping pattern in various parts of the country, different types of irrigation and irrigation systems, storage, tran transport, 
and marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints like uh, we lack cold chains that's why lots of food and grains are wasted so how can we you know do that in a sustainable manner e technology in the aid of farmers right issues related to direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support prices pds objectives functions limitations revamping issues of buffer stock and food security technology missions economics of animal rearing do you know we india is the largest exporter of buffalo meat what are the problems how can we do it further better food processing and related industries in india scope and significance location upstream and downstream requirement supply chain management very important land reforms in india why some of the states have succeeded in land reform others don't bengal is a good example effect of liberalization on economy changes in industrial policy and their effect on industrial growth infrastructure energy ports roads airports railways etc this is where geography and economy is linked investment models ppp etc public private partnership science and technology development and their application and effects in everyday life achievement of indians in science and technology indigenization of technology in developing new technology awareness in the field of it space computers robotics nanotechnology biotechnology very important biotechnology especially for prelims and issues relating to intellectual property right intellectual property right gi geographical indication conservation environmental pollution and degradation environmental impact assessment disaster and disaster management linkages between the development and spread of extremism like left wing extremism role of external state and non state actors in creating challenges to internal security challenges to internal security through communication networks the role of media and social networking sites in internal security challenges basics of cyber security money laundering and its prevention like blockchain technology has come up security challenges in their management in border areas linkages of organized crimes with terrorism different types of police is there in india crpf rpf CISF various security forces and agencies and their mandate then comes last paper before definitely before the optional ethics integrity and aptitude ethics and human interface aptitude attitude aptitude and foundational values for civil services emotional intelligence contribution of moral thinkers public civil service values and ethics in public administration probity in governance ethics codes of conduct citizens charters work culture quality of service delivery utilization of public funds and challenges of corruption and finally case studies on above issues